trying to establish that jab once again. Straight punch lands. She blocked the punch. Leg kick. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter, you're successful. Let those combinations bring together. Great punch landed with so much power. Beautiful body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so she goes for the double leg takedown here, DC, and she is able to secure it. Beautifully done there. Beautifully done. Great timing, great angle on the finish. Great job getting to her best position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice hammer fist. Back to the feet. That knee might have landed there. Oh! Man, her striking looks clean tonight, timing on point. Her timing's on point, her accuracy's on point. She's very busy, she's in a good flow. Looks as though her leg might leave it a little bit. Oh, and there's another leg kick, just out, right? I mean, now she has sort of rendered her opponent, as you see the damage of a one-legged fight. She is fighting a one-legged fighter, a wounded gazelle, right in front of a right. hungry lion. That is not a great position to be. Wow, what a kick! <laughs> now goes in and secures the takedown. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight, kick down the fifth lane. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Yeon Jaichek. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Yeon Jaichek. That's a hell of a kick by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. They should, they should. Another clinch position. Nice right hand there from Ioana Young J check. She's got that look in her eye tonight. That is scary. Oh! Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, big punch land. All right, so a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's unable to get the fight to the ground. She was not able to secure the takedown, but she has to disguise it a little bit better if she's going to take down a fighter as well first as her opponent. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Yo, Jaichek gets caught by the straight punch. Good punch.
Let's now look back at some of the action from that previous round, and she got knocked down, didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough, but let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Dig and kick. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Oh, nice leg kick by in there, DC. She disguises it really well. She gets the right moment. She drives her shin right into her opponent's thigh. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, she's got as good a tight clinch as anybody in this division, and she has... Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. She's trying to set up a sub here. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. All right, so we got a little bit of separation now, but watch out for the setup. You gotta think she's gonna shoot for another takedown. She's gonna shoot for another takedown, and it may not look pretty. It may be her taking a shot from halfway across the octagon. As long as she gets into contact, she is comfortable because she wants to fight. Down the floor, down the floor. Nice. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Takedown defense holds up. Changes her stance yet again. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Opportunistic grappling right there, and nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by submission, 